research. And my research title is Impact of Brilliant Tree Tsunami A Forestation Project on Vegetation Cover of Western Kohar, Pakistan. The Brilliant Tree Tsunami A Forestation Project was a plantation trial that was initiated in 2014 by the government in order to respond to the challenge of climate change and global warming. <coughs> Climate change has become the most malicious and severe threat to growth and development, let alone human life in the 21st century. Forests are a broad group of environmental issues that can adopt to changes in the ecosystem and deliver significant long-term environmental benefits. In 2014, the government of Khyber Prasunpa launched the Billion Key Tsunami Air Forestation Project to meet the goal of forest landscape Restoration, climate risk reduction, and livelihood enhancement. My study area was uh, District Kohar, and the geographical location of District Kohar is uh, between 33 degrees 4 minutes to 33 degrees 34 minutes north latitude and 70 degrees 29 minutes to 72 degrees 1 east longitude. The total area of the district was uh, 2,991 9, 9, 9 square kilometer and the population of the district is uh, and the density of population is 371 square kilometer. Next please. This is a study area map where, where the study was conducted. Why this research was conducted? The main uh, district of what is the area in Pairagwa and its vast vegetation curve. Social, cultural and biophysical forces have resulted in spatial and temporal changes in vegetation cover in the study area. To increase the vegetation cover in the study area, the Pairagwa Kapunpa government initiated the Billion Tree Tsunami a forestation project in 2014 and the pre-tree plantation was started in the study area through the same project. So far as there is no impact study of uh, Brilliant the tsunami on that area, so therefore it will be needed to investigate the impact of the airborne vegetation cover using modern tools that is geospatial techniques, GIS and remote sensing. Why this study was conducted? What are the main purpose of this study? The main purpose of this study is to find out the change in vegetation cover and the study will further investigate the impact of the airborne vegetation cover. There are two objectives for my study. The first one is the uh, spatial pattern of changes in vegetation curve from the year 2012 to 21. And the second one is the impact of variant tsunami on vegetation curve during the study period. The methodology uh, was mainly based on the satellite imagery and secondary data. The secondary data was collected from the district forest department and the satellite imagery was taken from the USGS website and Google Earth images. This is the flow chart that shows the methodology which was carried out during this research. Here are the results of the, uh, to achieve our objective. The first one is uh, we can see in the table that uh, vegetation cover from 2012 to 21. The first one uh, is the vegetation cover in 2012 is 32% which was increased up to 39% in 2021. And tree cover was 1.6% which was increased up to 3.3% in 2021. This is the map satellite map that shows the vegetation cover in other uh, classes. The green, uh, green color shows the tree, tree cover. Uh, in the study area, the light green color shows the vegetation cover over the district, and the blue color shows blue color shows the water bodies, and the brown color shows the barren land in the study area. Next please. This is the map from 2012 to 21. As we can see, the change in vegetation cover in 2012, the vegetation cover is low. And in 2021, there is increase in vegetation cover and tree cover. And there is a favorable decrease in water bodies and barren land from 2012 to 2021. This is the, uh, the table that shows the uh, Billion Tree Tsunami Air Forestation Project Phase 1 plan.
plantation. During phase one, uh, total ten site was taken for plant. This is a map that shows a, a clear difference between uh, during plantation, now sorry, before plantation and after plantation. 2018, that that map shows the before plantation of that side area, and uh, then 2021 map shows the uh, after plantation image of that area. So we can see the difference before plantation and after plantation in vegetation cover. Next. Uh, this is also uh, the another table that shows the during Bengal uh, tsunami afforestation project phase two. Phase during phase two, total 53 site was taken for the plantation drive. Here are the few maps that was taken during uh, phase two plantation sites. And during phase 3, total 19 sites was taken for the plantations. Here are the few maps that show the plantation, before plantation, vegetation and after plantation. So, to calculate the vegetation cover in the study area, small polygon was taken over that area and then area was calculated in RGIS software. So, what are the findings of this research? The images show that the tree cover listed in, in the listed increased from 1.6% to 3.35% and vegetation cover also increased from 32% to 39% while the water bodies decreased from 1.13% to 1.02% and the barricade also increased 64% to 55%. The during phase 1 total site, 10 site has been analyzed to find out the changes in vegetation curve in the study area. By four site, in 4 site, there is increase in vegetation cover and in 6 site, there is no change in the vegetation cover area. During phase 2, total 54 site was taken for the plantation. 19 sites indicate increase in vegetation cover, while remaining 35 sites, no change has been observed in vegetation cover. And during phase 3, total 19 sites was taken, 12 sites indicate increase in vegetation cover, while in 3 sites, no change has been observed. And in 5 sites, uh, there is, uh, sorry, in 3 sites, vegetation cover has decreased after plantation, and in 5 sites, there is no change in vegetation cover. Thank you so much.
वो कुछ सपोर्टिव है डेटा चाह रहे हैं थैंक यू मैडम Yeah. 